Okay, this is Bazuta's back here. Um, I'm going to show you false cut. Well, I didn't invent it, but it was invented by someone I like a lot on YouTube. He's he speaks French. He's from Quebec too. It's pretty awesome. He he has two accounts. In one he does only performances, and in the other one the tutorials. So um, Magic Guard Five, which is going to be about right here where he does his tricks and there his trick uh his channel where he does his reveals is gonna be right there. It's Magic Guy Reveals. Okay? So he's a pretty awesome magician. Um I like his tricks, his false cuts. This is this one is of his false cuts. I asked his permission because I modified a bit his cut. So um yeah that's it. Um, I recommend doing this false cut, practicing it over a table. Seriously, you're going to see why, okay? So this is a false cut. So you got the jack of clubs on the bottom and the ten of clubs on the top. And yes, it does keep full deck retention, okay? So this is the cut. Okay, you maybe see why I say do this over a table. My move, well, the move where you go like this, which is also a flourish. You can drop the cards, I admit. I drop them a lot at first. Now I'm pretty good. I still drop them sometimes, but still. Okay, so we're going to start the cut. So you got the Ace of Spades and the Ten of Hearts. Okay, really easy cut for the first part. The second part is where you need more practice, okay? So you start the trick in a biddle grip, okay? Um, biddle grip is basically where you put your thumb on the right corner here, okay? On the bottom right corner and your two, well, your two fingers opposite to your thumb, okay? So your pointer and your ring uh, and your middle finger, okay? So you're basically holding the deck like this, okay? So now you're going to uh, swivel cut, well swing cut, this is where you're going to lift about, I don't know, 20 cards, and you're going to go like this. Now you're going to put your hand, you're going to clasp it like this, okay, and then you're going to take the pack right here between your thumb and uh, these two fingers, okay, there's like this V, so you're going to clap it there like this, okay. Now this is the hard part for this trick. What you're going to do is skate, you're going to hold a mechanics grip, and what you're going to do is put your ring finger under, and lift, like this, okay? So this is a bit hard, you lift, okay? Really? Once you're done that, okay, see I dropped the card, okay? So, you're going to lift, now you're going to take the two-thirds of what's in your hand and you're gonna lift it so you're left with a third on the bottom what you're gonna do is you're gonna drop a third in your hand so then you have the bottom here and the top here so you're gonna bring it back like this and you're gonna keep your finger in it okay so now you're gonna cut this deck in two now this is the, the um, uh, a little bit harder part you're going to come and grab this with your ring finger and your thumb. So you're going to grab this portion and you're going to rotate with your thumb on your thumb. So then you're going to rotate this pack. Rotate the pack that's on the top. Okay. And then with the last pack you can just drop it. And this is a 190 helix cut. Okay. So, this is a cut that's on Miss Mag's channel. It looks like this. Okay. And for now, where there's the deck flip, uh, the one hand fan, and everything. So, you do your cut, basically. And when you're left with the pack where you just drop, you're going to hold it like this. With your thumb and your middle finger, okay? You're going to hold it. And now you're going to do something special. You're going to put your th your two fingers on the pip 
of the cards, like if you're holding one like this on the bottom pip, and your thumb on the little angel here, okay? And then you're just going to spread, okay? So your fingers are going to go like this in one way, and your thumbs in the other. So now you're going to do a one-hand fan. So this is a one-hand fan. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put your index finger under, and you're going to put your three other fingers like this, and you're going to push and release some cards, which is going to lift the pack. So then you're going to stick your fan in, in, and now you're going to put this pack parallel to your thumb. Now this is a hard part. You're going to put your arm, you're going to cross your arms like this. Now you're going to find your ideal height. So basically all you're doing now, okay, is taking this and turning. See, it does it by its own. It's going to do a turn, and then you can finish. You can throw it, you can drop it. Another finish I like to do is you take your deck and you just throw it like that, okay? But that's other stuff, okay? So really, okay? So, fan, stick, parallel, give your height, turn. You see, I even drop them sometimes. Okay, it's really false, sh shuff, uh, false, which moves the entire deck in the same order. So let's say you've got the Jack of Diamonds on the bottom, and our card is the Two of Spades. Okay, what you would do in the trick is you would go like this. You say we're just gonna cut. We're just gonna cut the cards, and then what you're gonna do? Basically, your one hand fan. Sorry for that, guys. It was just really my bad. Yeah. Okay, so you're, this is the hard part, but it's the part where people are going to go, wow. You're really not joking when you're saying you're a magician. He can basically flip a deck, catch it. He can fan a deck in one hand. See, this is what people like. When you're doing street magic, very important. Okay, um, this is, has nothing to do with the false cut. It's really, you gotta impress them. Because if you just say, hey, I'm a magician, they're gonna be like, are you sure what you're saying? So you gotta impress them really fast. So we can, so what you can do is like, hey, I'm a magician. Let me show you something I can do with cards. And then you would just like this. And you, you're not, you don't need to do the cut. You can just seriously do this. And, um... It's, even when you just do that move, it's uh, like doing the false cut. Because you're taking the top and then the middle pack, okay? So you have your bottom here, now you drop your middle, and then you're just going to drop the top. So seriously, if you have a big setup for a trick, just go like this. You can do this, people are thinking you're cutting the deck, you're actually not. Really awesome, see you next time.